Hey there, Chris Bassett here, and I'll be showing you how to update your BIOS on an AS Rock motherboard. Let's get into it. First things first, let's take a look and see what you got. Go ahead and press Windows and R to open the run command. And then under uh, run command, you're going to enter MS Info 32. This is going to bring up System Summary, which has all the information for your computer. You're going to want to take a look for your system model. It'll give you a series of letters and numbers, and that will be your motherboard model number. Copy that, write it down, whatever you got to do. We're going to enter that number into the search field um, when we search for the update. You can also take a look at the BIOS version and date to see how far out of date you are if you need to update. In my case, before I did this, it was 2020. It's now 2025, so it's five years old. Next, you're going to need to take a USB drive and format it into a FAT32. I actually had problems with the bigger USB, so a 2 to 8 gigabyte USB drive works great. Uh, plug that in the side. I will put links in the description. Your computer should automatically recognize this, but if not, open up File Explorer and then navigate down to where it says USB. Go ahead and right-click that USB. You can then choose the option to format. It needs to be FAT32. Anything else won't work. So this is where I ran into problems. I had to switch to a smaller USB drive to get the FAT32 option. There you go. After the switch, I've got FAT32. And then you also want to allocate your unit size to 4,096 bytes. Select the quick format and then hit start. All right, let's head over to AS Rock support and we'll pick up the update. We're going to go ahead and download it. So I just opened up my browser, type AS Rock support and then choose the option all right so we're at the support page uh, make sure you look in the upper right hand corner you're going to search for your particular model so mine is the a520m itxac uh, yours may be whatever we saw earlier so pick that uh, make sure it's the right one from that page go to support and then to bios click on the bios you'll see the bios menu and then you'll choose the newest version. So it should have a date next to it over to the right. Um, and then you'll just go ahead and download that newest version. Choose global and then download. Uh, it'll show up in your uh, downloads. Once downloaded, let's go ahead and open up a file explorer. So I'm gonna scroll down, open up file explorer, and then you can go to your recent downloads, click on that, and it should be in here as a zipped file. We'll need to unzip this, so right click, extract all, hit extract. Then you can take this, right click it, copy that, and we're gonna paste it into the USB drive. So go ahead and scroll down, find your USB, should be blank, uh, just right click and then paste. And now that's in there, uh, your system will recognize it when we do the flash. All right, next we need to enter the BIOS menu. So go ahead and restart your computer and then during the boot screen, uh, hit F2 or delete. Here inside the BIOS menu, we're gonna select the tool option and then it'll say instant flash. Uh, click on that. It should automatically detect what was inside your USB. So then you just go ahead and hit OK. It'll take a couple minutes and then it should be updated. You can then choose the exit option and then save changes and exit. Hey, check out some other videos over here. I've got some Amazon links down in the description. If you want to help support, use those links. Really appreciate it. Any other questions or comment, put below. Thanks.